Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another grocery haul video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Personal Points Program, but on my channel, I provide calories as well. So this week I'm bringing to you an Aldi haul, and I do have the points and calories on some of the things for you. The only thing I won't give points and calories is obviously the fruits and vegetables. I got some Brussels sprouts, some fresh Brussels sprouts, and also a couple bags of frozen. A big thing of spring mix, and then look at this cute coffee cup I got. I thought that was really cute. I got uh, some gallon bags, some sandwich bags, some carrots, zucchini, celery, beefsteak tomatoes, mini cucumbers, mushrooms, cherries, grapes, a couple things of kiwi because I am just on a kiwi kick lately, absolutely loving my kiwi, some blueberries, I also got some peppers, I also got some bananas which are huge i tried looking for some smaller ones and they didn't have them so i guess my husband and i'll have to share bananas when we have them this week and then some strawberry some avocado raspberries that we've actually already washed and got into and i think that's it for fruits and vegetables then back here i got a couple of things of these pretzels i myself have not tried these yet but i did buy these a couple weeks ago and my husband said they're the best pretzels he absolutely loves them i've really been doing good my snack at night has mostly been fruit and or vegetables so i've really not been having many pretzels but these are three points for 17 of them or 120 calories for an ounce which it's uh, 15 for an ounce it says also this white cheddar popcorn, I have tried this and this is really good. You can have one and a quarter cups for two points. The serving size on the back says two and a half cups for five points or 150 calories, but I bumped it down just to see if you just wanted a two point snack and it's one and a quarter cups. My husband likes to have these advanced bars once in a while. He honestly, when he's craving like a candy bar, that he'll have this instead of a candy bar. So these are higher in points. They're five points or 150 calories. They have quite a bit of uh, sugar alcohol in it. I also got some more of the brown rice and quinoa penne. I had, I got this uh, a couple weeks ago on an Aldi haul and I've used it and I, we really like it. So I'm going to continue getting that. And the points and calories on that is six points for half a cup dry and 200 calories. I got some sprouted bread. I'm wanting to try this kind. This kind is two points or 110 calories for one slice, but it has six grams of protein in it and five grams of, of fiber. So I know a lot of people look for bread that's only one point for one slice, but for me, whenever I don't really eat bread a whole lot, and when I do, it's usually with my avocado toast in the morning if I have um, like eggs and avocado toast. And the one point bread just doesn't do it for me. So I was looking for something a little bit more hearty. So I'm anxious to try that and see if I like that kind better. And then I got a couple things of green beans, some garbanzo beans, which are chickpeas, which I've been roasting those and really loving those. Uh, the green beans, well, my beans and green beans and the potatoes were all scanning out at zero, which I have to figure that out because potatoes are not a zero point food for me and neither are beans. So I don't know if there's a glitch in my app or what's going on with it, but, uh, 20 calories for half a cup of the green beans, 120 ca calories for half a cup of the garbanzo beans and 60 calories for two thirds of a cup of the potatoes. And then I also got some black pepper and some lemon pepper. And then I got these sliced almonds. I like to have those in my salads once in a while. Those are four points for a quarter of a cup or 170 calories. And also some cashews, six points for a quarter of a cup or 190 calories. And then we stocked up on this hummus. This is the absolute best hummus, actually the garlic one. This garlic hummus from Aldi is the best hummus we've ever had. For this kind, you can have two tablespoons for two points and calories on this one is 70. And then I also got some classic hummus. So we really like the everything hummus, but they don't have that kind. So what you can do is just get the classic kind and you can put your own everything seasoning in it and make your own everything hummus. This kind for calories is 80 calories. So two points for two tablespoons or 80 calories for the classic. 
And then I got some of the tzatziki. <laughs> I can never say that word. Uh, this kind, I got spinach artichoke and cucumber dill. And both of those are two points for two tablespoons. And then the cucumber dill is 40 calories and the spinach artichoke is 45 calories. So I'm hoping to make a recipe with those coming up. And then I got some pesto that's like tomato pesto, six points for a quarter cup or the calories, 180 calories, but a little bit of that goes a long way in recipes. And then I got a couple cans of skipjack tuna. For me, that's zero points or 110 calories. So again, if you're following WW, just make sure to scan all your foods because now with the personal points, the points are different for everybody. And then I got some ground beef. This kind is four points for four ounces or 170 calories. This is the 93% lean. I also got some whole wheat pita bread. This is four points for one pita bread or 180 calories. I got some feta cheese. I This is probably my favorite cheese. Like I absolutely love feta cheese. I have been having it in salads lately. I have it with my eggs. I, I just absolutely love feta cheese. So for this kind, you can have uh, one ounce for two points or 60 calories. I also got some grana padano cheese. I use this for a cod recipe that I make. This kind is five points or 120 calories for an ounce. I also got some Parmesan cheese. I always try to get the block of Parmesan cheese and just shred it or grate it myself. This kind is, you can have one ounce for four points or 110 calories. And finally some eggs, which for some of us they're zero, for some they're two points. And these ones are 70 calories. So now I thought I would show you what I do when I'm putting all these groceries away. So I put my groceries away and then I usually spend probably about an hour going through and washing all my fruits, cutting up like my carrots, my celery, things like that, because I'm just the type of person that if it's not readily accessible in my fridge, chances are I'm not going to open my fridge and choose that as my snack. I'm just gonna, I'm just not going to, like for example, carrots. If I wanna have some carrots and hummus and I have to peel the carrots and do all that, I'm more apt to just grab something else. So to me, this is basically what's been working for me. I just make sure I have everything all washed. Every, you know, I spin dried my lettuce. So when I wanna make a salad, I can just pull it out. Everything's already washed and ready to go. And that just really does help me. I put these in water. I have them just sitting in some water. That way they're ready to go. I can just pull them out when I want a snack on something. I like to buy fresh carrots. So if I want a snack of carrots and they're still in the bag, still unpeeled, I am just not apt to grab some carrots and peel them and all that stuff. But if they're already prepared like this and sitting in my fridge, then I'm more apt to do it. And then I save the scraps, of course, for when I make broth, which I need to make another broth soon. And then to wash everything, I just use my OXO salad spinner. I usually wash everything in one part vinegar to four parts water. And that'll do it for my Aldi haul this week. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. It's a journey.